Welcome to uh, C Sharp ADO.net and XML Lesson 10 uh, or CAX 10. List view to rich uh, text box interfacing. As you know, in this series of lessons, we have a split container that has three panels. And the first panel on the left, it has a tree view. In the upper right panel, it has a list view. And in the lower right panel, it has a rich text box. These three pa panels and three controls represent three levels of detail. Uh, the tree view is the highest level of detail. The uh, list view is the medium level of detail. And the uh, rich text box is the lowest level of detail where we actually see the actors and a detailed description of the movie. Uh, in order to accomplish this, we want it to look something like this. When we click on 2001 A Space Odyssey, we want to see the details appear in the list view. And then when we click on the movie title in the list view, we want to see the detailed information appear in the rich text box. In order to accomplish this, we need to pass the movie row information between these three controls. And in interest of doing this, in the two for each nested loops where we create the uh, tree view, within the uh, creating the movie title uh, loop, we assign an attribute called tag to the movie row. This to uh, uh, object called node within the tree view. Then in the tree view after select, which happens when we click on a movie title within the tree view, we retrieve the uh, tree information from the tree view of an args, which is a variable called e. And we take e.node.tag, cast it as a data row, and put it in a local variable called movie row in this line here. Then we need to check if movie row is null because it will be null if it's one of the genres it's selected since those tags aren't set. And in fact when it first comes up science fiction is selected as genre and the movie row is null. But if it's one of the movie titles selected, the movie row won't be null. It'll be a movie record. And in that case, we pull out the four field values we want to display. And we also, at this point, set the uh, item tag uh, to the movie row for the displayed uh, list view record. When an item is selected in the list view, it invokes the uh, list view middle info item selection changed event. And that passes uh, argument with the god awful name <laughs> of list view item selection changed event args, which once again is E. So once again, we have a local variable that's defined as a uh, data row, this movie row. And we say movie row equals cast to data row e.item.tag, which is the tag that was set to the item in the list view for our displayed record. And since the uh, form class, which is displaying everything, knows nothing about the uh, field names, of the movie record and in fact it knows nothing about the XML uh, database schema at all. We need to go to our movie class and call a method we created called get detail info and pass the movie row to this. If we look at the get detail info method in the uh, movie class uh, it receives the data row in a variable called uh, movie row. 
and then it calls two other local functions or local methods within the movie class get actors and get description in both cases passing the movie road to them as well and get actors and get descriptions in the case here of get description both know the symbolic field name so we can just do a return of movie row descriptions to string in order to get that information and once we create the string the way we want it displayed in the rich text box both the actors and the description and a large concatenated string we return this string so that back in our uh, item selection changed event we set uh, RTB detail underscore info which is our meaningful name for the rich text box uh, con control uh, dot text uh, attribute equal to this string that's returned from get detail info and basically that's all we need to create this cascading level of details results where you click on the tree node and it populates the uh, detail view or, or populates the list view detail record and then you click on the uh, item within the list view and it populates the uh, rich text box with the uh, nicely formatted actors from the actors field and description from the description field of the original XML file. Well that completes lesson 10 of the uh, CAC series. There will only be one more lesson where we look at how to assign icons to the uh, tree view and the list view make it look a lot nicer. Uh, until then I hope you enjoyed the lesson and remember to focus and learn a lot.